Okay. Sweet. Awesome. More rain. But when you wash the Vic and it rains the next day and the mud splashes all up on your car, now it's all dirty again and I've got to wash her again. Guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, it's freaking raining again. Um, it's supposed to have some like crazy freaking rainstorm or something. I don't even know. But so I guess I'm gonna be doing this video inside my car today. But as you guys can tell by the title, I'm trying to figure out what my car used to be when it was in service. Now, before I start, I just want to say thank you to my buddy who finally, finally got this right. This pin that's underneath here that I was trying to find for the longest time. All you do is pull it down and it locks the shifter and you can't move the shifter. So I finally found out what that was. Thank you again. Um, you know who you are for letting me know. Uh, I still don't know what this is and I don't think anyone ever know. I, like, I've done all the suggestions you guys have gave me and I still don't know what that does. There's an indicator over here. I don't, I honestly don't know what that does. It doesn't, there's like nothing that could, there's no like symbol or any lettering that could tell what it is. So I, I still have no clue till this day. Now, a lot of people, when they do buy police interceptors, not just the Crown Vic, but, you know, Impala, any kind of police interceptor, they try to figure out what their car used to be when it was in service. So they can, you know, take side-by-side -side pictures of what it used to be like and now what it is like now. Um, just kind of like a little tribute as well. So I'm trying to find out what my car used to be. Now, obviously, you have to look through the VIN. Uh, I looked at the VIN and it told me my service... Um, records and stuff i looked on i think like 10 different sites that told me the service of my car um thankfully my car has never been an accident no recalls nothing like that it's only been serviced i think like 20 times well it's been recorded 20 times for like the powertrain um expiring oil changes stuff like that just general stuff but it hasn't told me like which town bought my car and then therefore if i say okay if chitsville bought my car is that even a town, Chitsville? I don't know. It's just for example, okay? So say if I'm looking at the, the history of my car and it says, okay, Chitsville freaking bought your car. Okay, so I'd go on Google and I'd put Chitsville and I'll look up Chitsville PD. And then, you know, I can narrow the search down from there. But it hasn't told me, you know, who bought my car. It just says, oh, it went in for service. I got an oil change. So I'm kind of stuck and that's where you guys come in. I kind of need help if you guys know. I know a lot of you guys know a lot more about this car than I do. So if there's like a special website, or if there's like a special place you go, or even if you just go to the police station, I don't even know, and you just say, you know, hey, I wanna find out what my car used to be. If you guys know, let me know, because I wanna know what it is. Now, I got some suggestions that it might've been a canine unit, and for that, I have to go back outside and show you. Ugh! This, from a lot of my buddies, is the antenna setup. Now, as you guys can see, I got my low jack up here. I had another hole right here, which I'll explain what that is in another video, but had another hole there, low jack there and then obviously it had two here um and there might have been pucks you know wherever people have been saying that that might have been a canine setup because the canines usually run low jack and they have like a lot of antennas set up you know also when you buy your crown vic um they, they usually come with the same seats like the back all the crown vics that i've seen that my buddies have and stuff they always have this back part on the bottom but as you guys can see mine's different and as you know canines they don't have seats they have like a sheet of wood that goes around so the dog won't fall in between or anything um so that's also another reason why i'm kind of thinking that my car used to be a canine um because the seat is different also as you guys can see along the side there's a lot of scratches and dinks now obviously this could have been from anything from the officer's equipment hitting it or whatever also on this side there's a lot of scratches like i said again that could be you know just from use of the car but it also could be that might have been a dog, you know, scratches from the dog as well. Um, and also there's a little bit of, a couple like scratches, kind of like faded marks over there. So that could have been from, you know, possibly a dog. I'm not sure. I mean, it would really be cool, you know, cause as you guys know, I have Jack and it'd be really cool if my car was a canine and you know, I'm kind of making my car into a tribute canine vehicle. It'd be really cool to, uh, to actually find out that my car was a canine. That would be really, really cool to be honest with you. So, like I said, again, short little video. I just want to, you know, reach out to you guys. You guys have been really supportive of my channel. So, hopefully, you guys can help me out with this. 
Um, if there's a special website or if there's like, I, I went on Carfax, but you got to pay for that. I ain't doing that crap. But yeah, if you guys know a site or wherever I can find out where my car used to be in service, let me know down below in the comments if you guys know. Like I said, I've, I've always been trying to figure out what my car used to be and I, I can't find out. So I'd really appreciate it. Also, I mentioned in my last video, which was kind of a new video, it was kind of like, I don't know, dinky video, I guess you could say. Just something, you know, I was experimenting with, okay? So, but I am on Instagram now. The link is down below. It's also on my About Me page um, on YouTube. You guys can, the link is right there as well. Um, go check me out on Instagram. I do, I'm gonna maybe start doing daily pics. Uh, you know, if a video gets delayed, if I'm uploading a video, you know, new ideas, just a whole bunch of stuff. I'm also thinking about doing, once I get, grow a little bit more, maybe a, a Q&A. I think that'd be pretty fun to do. But yeah, so thank you guys anyway for watching. And hopefully I can find out what my car used to be because I really want to. So thank you guys. <laughs>